should India let their players play outside of the IPL? Ooh, um, okay, depending what kind of players. For me, I think leave aside um, the contracted players plus anyone who's in the fringes who might not be contracted because I do understand why this happens because you want that exclusivity when they play IPL. You don't want the big names if, let's say, Virat is playing Big Bash and 100 and everything else. You might not have the same value when he plays for IPL, right? Can I, I, yeah. I just stop you? In yeah. 2008, yeah. that made a lot of sense. Mm. In 2024, the Big Bash is not compete. Even if Virat played in the Big Bash, yeah. that doesn't matter. The IPL yeah. is so much bigger than every other league. No, now. no, true. But I'm saying, okay, so when I say Virat, that would also mean, let's say, Shubman. Yeah. No, 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 I get your point. You, you know what I'm saying? They're just not, they're not, like there was a yeah. point at one stage where we thought, oh, yeah, yeah. maybe the Big Bash and the, and yeah. the 100 or the Blast yeah. or whatever, and they'll all be yeah. just under the IPL. Yeah. It's The IPL's here, yeah. and I don't know how far down we'd need to find no, their second I, I, I completely agree, but again, it's, I, I do understand that part yeah. uh, of, of the policy why it's not allowed. Yeah. So I, I agree as well with that. What I would like to see is if, if he's not contracted, right, and is not part of the setup as of now, so that would be what, 40, 45 players, anyone else, let them. Let them play, okay, you can always manage in terms of, okay, allowed to play two or three franchise yeah. in a year mm. apart from your, because what's, what you also don't want to do is, you know, kind of get them away from domestic cricket. You also want them to play the domestic cricket. You want them to play sure. red ball cricket. So, you, you know, limit the number of franchise cricket you want to play. So you decide you're allowed to play, let's say, argument's sake, two franchise cricket. You decide what you want to play. You want to play CPL, you want to play Big Bash, you want to play, you know, white. I mean, Blast, whatever. It's up to you, two of them, you go play. Mm. And provided also you're not part of the, the let's say, uh, 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 the pool of players that the Indian team is currently looking at. So I'm happy to do that. So that would mean a couple of more things. Commercially, that makes a lot of sense. Individually for the players and others. For the leagues, commercially, it makes more sense. As soon as Indian players are available, even if they're not the top 40 players at that point in time, I think it would make more sense. And also for the younger lot. So obviously, there'll be guys who are at the last mile of their, uh, their, their careers. But there'll also be guys who are starting off. You know. So they would also get some opportunity of, of getting some experience into playing franchise cricket. Mm. England is a great example. 2015, we keep talking about the change. One of the major reasons why they were allowed to go play tournaments yeah. like IPL and stuff like that. So the white ball, con or the mindset changed with, with the experience that they, that they got. So I think that can also happen. I do understand the top 40, 45 guys currently in, in, in the running for, uh, for an India slot. Okay, protect them, do whatever you need to, but the others let them. It's interesting because I remember when Cam Green came through and I think Goffey was trying to sign him at Yorkshire and mm -hmm. Australia were like, you can sign him, but he's only going to play as a batter, <laughs> which I think Goffey yeah. went for. <laughs> I want an all-rounder, this doesn't really help. So Australia and other countries use the franchise systems to improve their players, mm. right? So uh, Marcus Stoinis in, in the IPL was another one where they kept saying to the IPL, you should move, try this guy down the order more, <laughs> you know? Mm. Let's see how he goes. Because when he was playing at Melbourne Stars, he was o even opening at a time. Mm. You can actually use franchises to improve your players. And I think India is missing out on that massively. Yeah. I don't think it matters though, because I don't think cricket matters ever the reason these things are done. Mm. Eventually Indian players will play outside of India because these owners own sides in America and South Africa. And let's yeah. be honest, I don't think the IPL owners bought major league teams to get Corey Anderson and Dane Pete into mm. their sides. They bought them so that eventually they can get Jaiswal or Bumra or mm. Kohli over there yeah. and, and improve their brand and do that. So I think as the IPL owners buy more and more of cricket, which is happening yeah. on a day-by-day -day basis, it won't even be a conversation about cricket. And, and yeah. everything Deep said is correct. And, and, mm -hmm. and the way the BCCI look at it, I might disagree with their point, but I can understand their, their yeah. thought process there. But eventually, the Ambani family and you know, all these other owners, GMR and all these yeah. other ownership groups are so much more important than the BCCI or anyone yeah. else. And they're just gonna be like, I bought this team in San Francisco so I can get the biggest stars in the world in there. Uh, the other important thing is if we still want cricket to be run the way it is right now, which is country and then franchise. It is also important from that perspective yeah. that these boards, they have that kind of control over their top players. Because the moment that goes, then we're looking at 
more of a football model than a cricket model. We're looking at clubs and then clubs releasing players for international football, not the other way around. Yeah. So we've got to be a little careful with that as well, that, that, you know, the dynamic that cricket has right now. The, the other thing, I mean, the, one of the great examples of that, I completely agree, as developing the player is Mitch Marsh. I was part of the, the franchise that was coaching them, the Pune. And he, he was only 18 back then, Mitch, right? He would just spend so much time just trying to play spin. You know, I would, my, I almost kind of, kind of got injured my shoulder, uh, just chucking balls at him, and he just wanted to bat and learn how to play spin, how to play spin. So that was a, that's a great example yeah. of how you can actually improve your talent going forward. The, this all goes back to India. Obviously, we're talking about Indian players, but in terms of like the broadcast numbers, in terms of the Indian cricket fan watching these overseas domestic leagues, mm. you know, how would you rate? Um, the success of, say, the SA20 with the MLC mm. with the with, with the hundred. I mean, of these yeah. tournaments uh, or the blast, which where, where would you see there is most interest, if at all? Uh, the most interest, okay, it boils down to the timing to a great extent. Of course, yeah. In the time zone, for example, even though I would say Big Bash would be, in terms of quality of cricket buys, uh, would be really fun to watch, uh, but then again, the timing doesn't help. Yeah. That's where I think, you know, the blast, the hundred makes a lot more sense. It's right in prime time slot. So the hundred, but the hundred would be late in India, wouldn't it? Yeah, That'd but like nine p.m. is not late. In I was going to say nine, ten o'clock. Yeah, it's, it's not. not six, it's not late. Six. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I suppose the women's yeah. game starts. Yeah. yeah so on. around that nine, ten. I mean, yeah, we don't spot. go to bed before twelve, before yeah. midnight. So it's fine. So it's not that late. So that fits in nicely. Uh, CPL had to change their timing. Yeah to suit in the uh, time zone. So uh, that way, you know, uh, blast and hundred make a lot of sense. But my only concern with, with these two tournament is the quality. Yeah. You don't have the best English white ball players playing the tournament. Right. And and when you say, okay, oh, Ben Stokes not playing. Oh, okay, Josh Butler's not playing. You, you look at those big names and what happened, and especially I'm talking about uh, people from, you know, neutral, countries, yeah. they look at names. They want to see, oh, Josh Butler's got runs or Sam Khan's got people they can identify with. They're, you know, from that perspective. So I think that's where. Uh, so if you yeah. saw Indian players popping up playing for Cape Town, Mumbai, or Ooh. then that does the league go from, in terms of a television spectacle, yeah. goes from oh, there yeah. to there. You know yeah. what it will do. It's not even a you've comparison. seen the yeah. county numbers yeah. of when yeah. Ashwin plays for Surrey or... Well, Shaky Palasan playing for yeah. Surrey. Yeah. And the stream, the stream, the stream just changes, yeah. right? Like oh, yeah. instantly. So, but it, one thing I would say about that is it needs to be big players. That's probably not happening for, you know, Rahane. Right, like on the same level. I'm not saying he won't he won't yeah. change it a little bit. He will. Yeah. Even Pajara, it, you mm. know, it, it does need to be a name that draws it in. But once you get that name, mm. the numbers just go absolutely through the roof. I mean, you, you all those veteran tournaments basically exist for, because of Yuvraj Singh and Sachin Tendulkar mm. and, and Kevin Peterson, right? Mm. They don't exist because of you know Chris Tremblay and, and whoever else is playing in them. They exist because if you can put three or four big names on there, people will tune in. The Shane Warne, Sachin Tendulkar, one oh. in America, all those sorts yeah. of things. They exist specifically for that. There aren't that many people who move the needle, but the ones who do move it so much yeah. that changes. And but also, if you had two or three young Indian players in a, mm, in a MI yeah. team or, you know, in for San Francisco uniform, uniforms? Uniforms? uniforms. They should be the uniforms. <laughs> um, you know, uh, if, you, if you did things like that, maybe that would be different because you'd be creating a culture of that's the young Indian side or whatever. But generally it is the big names change it and... Uh, and Talk to anyone who has the county TV streams, I'll tell you. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.